going on my peoples my people's peoples and my plant people so how are you doing okay that's good to hear all right all right well we are back with another one i am jamon from jamonji's plants i appreciate you being here um obviously we are here for the plants um as I am a plant daddy and I'm a connoisseur of different plants and stuff like that. And I get a chance to talk with y'all, got a community, talk about plants. How could you be upset talking about plants? So we're going to talk about plants today. So um, towards the end, I'm going to talk about the Southeastern Plant Show. That's going to be coming um, June 29th and June 30th to Gwinnett County Fairground. But I'm going to talk about that towards the end right now. We're going to talk about some variegated plants, All right? So I got my top five and four uh, honorable mentions. So we're going to get into it. Uh, I hope you have had a good weekend. Um, I hope you will have a good week coming up. Um, I've been doing really well with my therapy. And um, soon and very soon, I'm going to be hired on which is really great and I'll keep you guys updated on that. So that's really exciting to me. Um, and then I got a couple of groups that's gonna be going on. And uh, if ever you are looking for a therapist in Georgia, definitely hit me up. Um, you can find my uh, Instagram um, account, um, Jamon the Therapist or whatnot. And then I also got a TikTok that's the same. So if you follow those, uh find me hook me up i can try to find you a therapist and stuff like that no charge no none of that stuff like that i'm just helping people out ultimately okay so um i'm pretty excited about today because i don't think i've done a video like this right here um if i have it's been a minute okay so none of these are in particular order i'm just going to go ahead and pick them up and we're going to do it like that okay so um, like I said, I got five variegated plants that are kind of like my favorite right now. Like when I look at it, I get like really excited and stuff like that. And I tried to find, you know, various different type of plants and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty cool. I got a variety of plants, um, that are variegated and, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Um, I would love to know what's your, uh, favorite variegated plants right now, whether it's Albold or it is um, yellow variegation or pink variegation or whatever the variegation type is. I would love to know it. So um, let's get into it like there's nothing to it. Okay, so um, my first um, variegated is the Syngonium variegated or whatnot or Syngonia albo. And it's so interesting because I know um, last year Myself and um, uh, Plant Life Lex, Lex, were talking about I need to get me a, um, I need to get a Syngonium. So at one point, um, Syngonium was just not my thing, okay? Um, I think I got like a regular Syngonium and it just would not grow. I think I got some Syngoniums uh, from the wild in Florida and they just did not do well, but I tried and I tried again. I got this one right here. It started off about 15 bucks. It was made about four leaves or something like that. And it is now growing. I do have it on a moss pole back there, as you kind of see. Um, this is a um, wire mesh moss pole. Um, in the moss pole, it has like uh, chunks of um, like wood chunks and stuff like that. Like, uh, yeah, wood chunks in there and stuff like that. So it has various different elements that would give it the idea that it's grown up something. Then this is a nice little thick and I like it because, you know, I can just pick it up just by that right there. You can see like those roots are immaculate. I pretty much keep this wet like all the time. I mean, the reason that I keep this pretty, I would say wet instead of moist. The reason that I will keep this wet is because, um, I want the pole to be wet too. So a lot of times I will go with my sprayer and just spray up and down it. Um, and I can do that like every day, which is really great. 
um, especially because this isn't one of those um, plastic ones. The plastic ones, you don't have to do that well. And, and I got some plants on that and you'll be able to see it. But um, yeah, so let me talk about this. The Albo is really great, uh, very easy going plant. Um, I think that this plant is, it definitely should be a staple plant. Um, the patterns on it is, ju it just varies. And um, every time I look at it, I just get so amazed at how gorgeous it is. And this plant is not like even expensive. Like you can probably find it at, I don't know about a local plant store, maybe at your local plant store. And let me know if you have it at your local plant store, put it down in the description and tell like maybe what city you're in, just in case somebody is looking for one of these right here. But um, this is, uh, easy to kind of find or whatnot um love the different patterns like that is pretty mosaic and then i have not a fully like half half and half or whatnot like these two right here that's kind of like it's kind of like a half moon or whatnot and then a half moon of course is a plant that is half white on one side and then green on the other side so and it's almost kind of giving me like tricolor really because like it has that white there and then there's like light green in there if you can kind of see that let me get my face out of there but man this is really gorgeous you know what i mean and it's interesting because the leaves are um so elongated and if you notice this side right here is only growing right here so it got a lot of time up the pole and then this one right here is just about right there so i got a lot of time with this one right here and this plant is absolutely gorgeous i know they got it like a aurea and aurea uh typically is a yellow type of um variegation albo of course is like the whites just in case you know we come across i think most of mine that i got right now is going to be albo i don't think i have many aurea plants or whatnot um so i think the um the Florida Beauty that I have right there, I think that's more Aurea because it's more yellow than it is white or whatnot. But um, yeah, I absolutely love this plant here. Uh, every time I see it, I just get so excited. Um, I try to keep this moss pole wet um, every time I walk past it. Very easy, I'm sure I can take, uh, if I wanted to, some cuttings from off of it. I don't see me doing it right now until it got to a point where it was just getting too much then of course i would do something like that but yeah absolutely love this uh variegated um albo um syngonium and you know another one that i really want to get is the panda i think the panda equally is gorgeous and i think i'm gonna get that one from um plant life lex because i believe that she has them in stock or on store or whatnot so i'll be getting one of those too and if there's any other variegated syngoniums definitely drop it down below let me know um, what you're into, what you have, and uh, you know, let me know if it's easy and stuff like that. Cause I'm starting to like the syngonium, so I'm starting to come out the box of uh, liking these plants. So I'm very, very excited. So the next plant that we have is, you kind of already know this one was gonna show up. This is the Monster uh, uh, Thai Constellation that I got maybe a few months ago. Um, it did grow one leaf and that leaf just did, it just died pretty much. So I'm trying to do my best at keeping this one, um, how it is or whatnot. So it did give me a new little baby leaf, new little cute leaf. And because it's in this clay pot, um, and it has like wood or whatnot, I think that this is a really good medium for it. I think the only thing that I have to do is just make sure I spray it with my like neem oil or something like that because i think it may be like a little infested or whatnot and that's why it's kind of doing this also i've been trying to water my variegated plants um I'm in, and i'm not always uh, able to do it with silica silica from my understanding helps with the white in variegation and just keeps it stronger so um if you have really good experience with it definitely drop it down below and you know put us all on of how great silica can be. I know my friend Autumn lives and died by it. She has really great um, variegated monsteras, Thai constellation, elbows, and she's like really good with them. So this uh, Thai constellation is gonna be doing well. This right here gives me the um, 
it makes it, it, it helps in me think like okay i don't have to throw this one away i don't have really big monsteras uh elbows or tight constellations so this is really exciting for me that you know if i can keep this one good within like another like maybe three months because these are kind of slow at least for me um but this will grow into a whole nother i mean this will grow like another leaf and then i'm hoping that that one will be of course a lot bigger than this one right here you know whenever you take a cut in and they don't come back this size right here usually they'll give you a small and then they give you a big so this is my monster tie constellation and i think that these are really good um i won't say starter well these are good monsters to have as far as uh the monster tie or the elbow i think the elbow is a little bit harder to handle than the tie constellation and the tie constellation is this is just like how it is so every leaf is going to be tied out or have that um that pattern so i'm pretty excited about it even this little leaf has that tie constellation kind of look and it's still new so it hasn't really hardened off but once it hardened off i'm sure i will update you guys about it so i'm pretty excited about this and then i'm gonna keep it in this pot right here because i want it to have that woody feel but i don't want it to get drowned out by water and start to create root rot and as i'm kind of seeing i see that there are airy roots starting to pop out so that's gonna be really exciting i'm gonna keep this plant very healthy i'm gonna try to keep this plant very healthy it isn't in the best conditions but it's still lovely i keep it in my bedroom or whatnot so this is bedroom condition um and yeah, I don't miss it or anything like that. It just is what it is. So this here is my tie constellation. Let's go ahead and move on. So this is my Alocasia Blizzard. Um, a very, very easy going plan. As you kind of see like from that one right there, which is really, really crazy, is growing all of these leaves. And if you know anything about Alocasia, like that is just not always a thing. So I got this from, I think Plant USA um and it has just been growing i think i've had this more than six months at this point so i do have um pups right here and i would imagine that i probably have some other uh bulbs or whatnot but i'm not going to take this one out of here i'm gonna let it stay in there and i'm gonna let this grow as it is this is pretty much just um cocoa fiber and uh perlite and as you kind of see those roots are really great but I've learned that uh, allocations don't too much care for like space. It can like just fill up its space or whatnot. If it starts to eat it up too much, I have more perlite and more, um, more perlite and cocoa husk. I'll just like repot it and maybe a bigger cup or something like that or a bigger pot maybe. But ideally, I want to keep it the same. So I would like take this out of there, build up around it, and then put that in there just so it can kind of grow. Because um, there's no reason for me to like fresh out the roots or something like that and put it in there. So this Alocasia Blizzard, like I said, all I do, I have this one in my Ikea greenhouse is at the bottom with a lot of my other variegated plants or whatnot um, that are a lot smaller and that can fit in there. If this gets uh, big enough for me to have to take it out, then I'll take it out and put it in like my little Alocasia City. Um, I pretty much have this top up here with full of Alocasias up there, um, which I just made a video maybe about a month or two ago. You can go back and look at that of all my allocations. So um, this is really gorgeous. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock on wood. I haven't got any like pests on this right here, no spider mice or anything like that. And as most people know, um, allocations can be very big spider mite magnets. But this, I mean, I just fertilize it um, every time I water it. Um, I have, if you follow Plant Life Legs, you got these water i mean these trays from target that i just pretty much put in my ikea greenhouse so i'll put water at the bottom and plants will just soak up the water so it's like bottom watering pretty much and once uh all the plants have like i gave it a day and the plants didn't accept the rest of the water i'll just put like a rag in there and i'll just go ahead and take out that water there so um that's how i pretty much water these right here um and i mean absolutely gorgeous like this thing is so freaking full. If you can get your hands on the Alocasia Blizzard, um, definitely, you know, I know like the fry deck is like really important to people, but this Blizzard, I mean, it's giving. 
right? Like, look at that. This one, let me see. So this is given one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten leaves out of there. Like, it's given now. It's really given. And I'm very excited to have it. Um, I can't wait till I can kind of pass these around too. Um, especially knowing that there are going to be pups kind of growing out of here soon, very soon. Um, it's the springtime, so I would imagine that, you know, this plant is definitely going to flourish. I mean, I guess I got it in my greenhouse, so they don't know that it's spring, honestly. Um, but gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. Gorgeous plant. Like, look at the leafage. Check that out. Yeah. Um... I'm excited to have it. <laughs> I can't lie to you. Every time I see it, I get so excited. Um, but yeah, let's keep on moving on. So here, um, which is very interesting because at one point, this plant pretty much died as soon as I got it. I got this from Aroid Market when I purchased um, like two or three plants from them just to see, you know, how good they would ship and stuff like that and had to get like the photosynthesizer and all that stuff like that. So um phyto sanitizer whatever that thing's called but um this plant actually died back and became a stump and um now you can see like it is flourishing a little bit better um this philodendron sodoroid variegated and i know that it a lot of, a lot of people are now selling this in the states or whatnot so i would definitely get my hand on it i don't think that they cost that much um i don't know if it's because these aren't as strong if you're not like a stronger um, plant person, but um, this is growing pretty well for me. And um, I'm very excited to have it. It's very different. Um, when I think about like philodendrons, I think about like a lot harder leaves and this is just, these are just not harder leaves, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, whenever I see it, it's just, it's really gorgeous. A uh, sodoroid or whatnot, you know, sodoroids to me sometimes are just not really strong plants. But looking at this one right here, I can see a really good future in it, and I can't wait for it to have like way bigger leaves than this right here. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, whenever I pass it, I definitely get excited for it too. It sits down with alocasia um, blizzard, so the same thing I watered down at the bottom. As you can see, there's a lot more water down here. Than it is up here and a lot of times i like that because it keeps away like um like a like a little the the uh bugs that go um on the top of the soil and stuff like that and they just kind of sit there this is a lot drier than it is at the bottom or whatnot so um yeah i'm loving i'm actually really loving i had to kind of tear off because it i don't know it gets I don't know, it's, it's kind of weird because it got like uh, some like leaf, little fungus or something like that, so you just rip it off. But it has three leaves right now. And right now it has like a fourth kind of coming in. So I'm pretty excited um, about the future of this plant because it is growing and I can see like it growing a lot bigger or whatnot and bigger leaves. I think that I'd be so freaking excited to have some bigger leaves on this right here. So, um, definitely keep your eye on a philodendron, um, uh, sodoroid variegated or variegata or whatnot. Um, if you have this plant, definitely give us some information that maybe helped you out that, uh, you know, give you bigger leaves and stuff like that. If you don't have it, let me know. Oh, and I would love to know like some wish list variegated plants that you guys have or whatnot. And yeah. Y'all already know my top, so we're gonna keep on going. Um, this is gonna be, this is number four right here. So we got a fifth and then four honorable mentions. So here we go. So here we have my Monstera Adansonii Mint Variegated. So as you kind of see, this thing has really outgrown the um, moss pole here. I do have another pole like this one right here that I can attach it to or really I can just go ahead and take this one out of there and put it on a bigger pole but if that happens then of course I got to take it out of this one right here and um, 
yeah, she's gonna go up from there. I'll probably more than likely have to take it out of the, maybe not. I'll probably just move something down to the bottom and then move this one up. Cause I like to keep this one in the greenhouse. So this one, as well as in the greenhouse, I see that there is a root that came out of this right here, um, out the side. And if you kind of see, it kind of came down there. And then there is a really big root. Look at that. Look at that. Now that is what you call root porn. That is humongous. But um, these, this uh, Addisonia Mint is just so gorgeous. Like whenever I see this one right here, equally I get excited um, because a lot of these variegated plants are uh, in the same place or whatnot. So um, when I saw this, I remember this used to be so expensive. So when I actually saw that uh, I would I would pay for it at the price that it was, then I got it or whatnot. So um, as you kind of see, started off with nothing and look at this. I mean, we have holes on top of holes at this point. Um, and this variegation is just so stable as you kind of see down here. It was more green now. I mean, white on green, white on green, white on green. And this is an amazing plant. And I would I would propagate this plant right here too, um, just to have like another one outside of the greenhouse. And it may be probably easier just to go ahead and kind of take that one off. I don't know, I may, I may go ahead and snip that off. Um, still put it on another pole, but go ahead and snip this one off and um, Maybe have two of these because this is a really gorgeous plant and it grows fast when i tell you it started off slow but once it gets attached and it gets put in the right um area this thing grows so freaking fast and right now i mean nothing is dying back i mean it loves this like chunky mix pretty much perlite um moss i see perlite in there i see some uh, horticulture charcoal uh, some woody little bites in there. So I'm very, very excited about this. If you got this, definitely let me know. Shout out the Adesonia Mint variegated parents or whatnot. Very gorgeous plant. You know what I would like is a half moon off of this one right here. I think that'd be very, very exciting. Um, very sexy too. So um, I don't know what else to say about this one. This is, I mean, this is sexy. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, yeah, I, I definitely think that, you know, people should have this plant here. I mean, it grows really quickly. So if you can find something at a good price, then, you know, um, I can see me pretty much uh, cutting this, putting on another moss pole, allowing that to grow up. Um, once this one, I mean, it already has roots, so I can put this one on a pole and have like two of them growing out. So like two leaves are kind of growing out of kind of each man that would be an amazing little bundle right there um so i'm pretty excited about that pretty much making that happen so um yeah those are i want to say like my top five right now in no particular order um i do have uh about four um honorable mentions so i do want to show you guys that but that's like my top five right here this right here like i said monstera um, at a sunny eye mint variegated. So yeah, let's get the four uh, honorable mentions. So one of my first honorable mention is the, I got a baby Thai constellation and it's pretty cool. Um, and the reason that I want to show it because there is a leaf growing out of there. Um, these leaf right here is going great. And then on the other side of it grew another one. So this one plant alone is giving me three Monstera Thai constellations. So what the heck, right? Like that is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Um, and it's like, it's almost like mysterious that it's kind of happening that way. I don't know, but it is doing a lot better. At one point it did die back. And maybe that's why those uh, epical buds started to like grow out the side of it. But then this right here kept going. So it's like, it's giving me three plants all at the same time. I would imagine that I'm gonna keep it in this type of condition. This is an Ikea baby, um, moss pole, chunky mix, um, 
obviously you can see like it stays pretty moist down here i can see some area roots down at the bottom so we are doing very well i don't think well so down right here i don't know if you can kind of see it um it is growing attached to it now so um it needs to grow pretty slow so i would imagine that i'll probably keep this for a whole nother year before it gets any type of up here um and of course i'll keep you guys updated on this honorable mention but i just thought that that was freaking exciting that there is a leaf growing right there there's another one growing right there and then this main stem is growing so um of course i had to mention it um i absolutely love this plant because like how does that happen All right like how does that happen it's just it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous let me keep on going with my honorable mentions so we have this snow queen pothos and absolutely gorgeous just absolutely gorgeous um and it's a more common i guess variegated pothos well i don't know if it's still i don't i haven't really saw, saw it uh seen it in like regular plant stores like in my kind of like exotic stores like flora fauna that's one of my favorite 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 atlanta plant stores i do see it in there but i haven't saw it at like a pike or something like that so this snow queen definitely had to mention um because why not like it is nice and full and this is just one plant this is just one plant it kind of look like it's like a multi like at least two plants but it's growing pretty slow but it's attaching and um it's just really down at this line right here so i can see that it's going to give me a little time and i just actually attached the pole there maybe a couple nights ago i was just sitting on the phone and i was like oh i want to repot it and i know it's probably like oh you didn't show us but i mean you know uh chunky mix down at the bottom moss um and perlite in there and uh, it's going to start to grow up and once they get attached to here absolutely big big leaves i can just imagine if my hawaiian pothos is growing like it's growing and y'all have seen my hawaiian pothos then man this is going to be really big and it's going to grow pretty fast especially because it's going to start to attach so absolutely chef's kiss uh, this is the snow queen pothos go ahead and get a little gander at that all right let's keep going so i um definitely wanted to put on my hoya on here because i do see this and i do get excited about it this here is the hoya uh kentiana um variegated or whatnot so um this is that was a dead leaf this is absolutely gorgeous and then you get one thing i do like about hoyas is like they get sunstress or whatnot like absolutely gorgeous bunch of i mean it fills up the space really well um and it's actually growing down which is pretty interesting um but of course with variegated i mean with hoyas the stems usually will go up so even when a new leaf kind of comes in it still goes up and then up and up or whatnot so really gorgeous i have this um just under a light and it's still getting um what it was this this little sun stress or whatnot look at that pink like absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous but definitely thinking of uh, my girl uh carla because she loved her some um hoya so this is me putting this on here shout out uh carla g she is a g that's my that's my girl there but definitely had to put this one on there like this is absolutely a staple in my um plant um my hoyas or whatnot this is pretty easy to find i think you can find these at like um home depots and things like that but definitely get you a cutting or whatnot or a full plant i have this one and leka and it's actually really loving the leka um and i have these in like various different i got in like different soils uh, my uh, Hoyas and then I got some that are in just um, uh, moss or whatnot so but this one is in soil I've had this one for quite some time I have multiplied this plant a few times over I was giving this plant away and um, yeah this is absolutely gorgeous 
um, Hoya. So if you are looking for something that is kind of variegated, you want to put something in a spot and just kind of show off some really great leads, I think that this one is a plus to anybody. So definitely get your hands on a Hoya Kentiana. And they got the variegated version, which I'm sure is a little bit, um, maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe more luxurious. I think this might be the variegated one too. Yeah, this is the variegated one, yeah. So forget all that I just said, but yeah, so this is really gorgeous. So we're gonna move on to the last one and then we're gonna be out of here, you know what I'm talking about? So. So the last one that we have here is the Epipremnum Panatum Variegated. And I have two of these or whatnot, and I definitely wanted to mention this right here. And I actually just put this pole on here. It's been growing without one. And as you can kind of see, if I had this in some moss, then the leaves will definitely be getting bigger. I will be putting both of those on pretty much the same pole. I don't see why I should put it on different poles because if I put it on different poles, yeah, but if I put it on the same one, then it look a lot more full and I'm going for more full than multiple plants, if that makes sense. So and if I wanted multiple, then I'll just put it on the same pole. Once that got bigger, I would just cut it down and just, you know, start over again, you know, but I definitely wanted to mention this one because this is a really gorgeous plant. Um, I have this one in my Ikea kicker that is actually just right there. Um, really gorgeous plant. Uh, it definitely takes up a lot of space because it's so like separated. So that's why I said I don't wanna put two of them together so that they would just kind of like cross over and get like really bunchy. But this is a very gorgeous plant. Uh, when I first seen it, I think I first seen it at uh, in Orlando at, um, Equigenera or whatnot, and I was like, definitely got to get this, so I got it. And um, it's been growing very well ever since. It definitely takes up a lot of good space within the kicker, so it looks really full, looks really nice. And yeah, I think if you get a chance to see this one, or if you get a chance to purchase it, I would say purchase it. I don't think that they cost a lot right now. I remember back when where like a leaf or two was a little expensive if y'all if y'all can remember that but right now i think that these are a lot affordable and um yeah definitely grab you a um, epipremnum panatum and then it being epipremnum or apothos however you want to say it's going to grow pretty fast and you can cut it down if you wanted to to multiply it like i said right now i have two of them so it's no reason for me to really cut it down Really, I need to get this on a really good pole. And more than likely, I'm gonna have to take it out of that and put it out here. So that's gonna be pretty exciting to put one of these out here and have that growing. So I'm excited about the future of all my um, variegated plants. Uh, like I said, I would love to know your top variegated plants that you have in your, um, your plant collection right now. If you have any tips, of course, drop that down in there. And yeah, yeah. But let me tell you now about um, the Southeastern Plant Show. Okay, so the Southeastern Plant Show, um, I went to last year and it was very, very big. I think it's one of the biggest plant shows in Atlanta and it's really great. So, um, and this is not me just saying it. This is, I mean, it's, it's one of the biggest ones, right? So. And this one right here, um, this is, so the dates are June 29th. Um, it is going to be 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then June 30th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. So it'll be a little bit shorter time. It's going to be at the Gwinnett County Fairground. Okay. You can purchase your tickets on southeasternplantshow.com backslash tickets. Okay. So um, the Southeastern Plant Show it's going to be filled with, you know, two day events of showcasting local and international uh, house plants. And usually they have Equigenera here. So they have like specialty plants and collections and artisans. So they have like pots and stuff like that in different poles, um, different um, um, like shirts and different accessories like that. So it'll be over 70 plus vendors. Listen to me over 70 plus vendors this year okay one of those 
the biggest selection of rare tropical plants. And they'll have common plants too, of course, right? So it'll be all under pretty much one roof. And, you know, tropical plants, traditional house plants. Uh, I mean, it's going to be everything from aeroids, anthuriums, carnivorous plants, uh, hoyas, orchids, uh, succulents. They're going to have pottery. They're going to have um, ceramics, house plant accessories, um, uh, plant care essentials. They're going to have jewelry. They're going to have home decor. Um, they're going to have shops. They're going to have classes. Um, they're going to have different influences. I know it's going to be like myself and I believe maybe five, six, seven um, other like plant influencers from like Instagram and YouTube. Like very, very big. You don't want to miss out on it. I'm actually going to take off for those two days so that I can be at this event. Um, so I'll be there pretty much all day. I don't know what they're going to do with us or have us do. Maybe they may have us on a panel or something like that. So I would love, love, love for you guys to join me. I would love to get some photos with you guys. I would love to get video with you guys. I love going to these things and people recognize me. Um, I think that that is such a blessing in itself. I met a lot of you guys off of look, uh, going to these plant shows. So if you have the time if you have the time and i'll keep posting more and more stuff about it the more and more that i uh get a chance to you know um get more information i will let you know for sure i'm gonna let you know so i would love to see you there the uh southeastern plant show definitely come through when i find out different vendors I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know who gonna be there, who gonna be in the spot, but I'm gonna be in the spot. So I'm hoping that you gonna be in the spot. I'm gonna be in the spot, so I'm hoping that you gonna be in the spot. Okay? So with that, we'll leave off. I appreciate you guys for coming through, hanging out with your boy. Again, I am Jamon from Jamonji's Plants. And uh, y'all have y'all a good weekend or a good week, depending on when you watch this. But uh, yeah, love. Peace and plants.